Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we are building another modern house. I know there's going to be a few of these in a row because I am actually currently working on another one that is on a 30 by 20. I want to get this little neighborhood in Oasis Springs done before I start building on... Actually, no, I was about to say before I start building on something else, but I'm also working on a Christmas house, so that'll be coming up at some point too. But that's built in Windenburg. So there is one other house, but other than that, I really want to get this neighborhood done before I go to Denmark. So there'll be another modern house coming up that's on a 30 by 20, and then hopefully the last one, which is also on a 30 by 20. And then I'll move on to some other neighborhood in, uh, in Oasis Springs so we can get all the houses done. But today we're building the other 40 by 30 in this little area where the Calientes normally, li normally live. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's built on a 40 by 30. It is fairly big, although it didn't take me that long to do, I don't think. I think I spent maybe like four hours building total. So it's got room for two parents and technically also two other sims in the teens room. However, it is only meant for one sim, but I placed the bed in a way so you could have two sims living in there if you want to. And then it's also got room for a pair of twin children. <laughs> I don't think that either the teen room or the children's room is very gender specific so you could technically have anyone living in there if you want to maybe delete a few things swap a few things out or something like that and it should be completely fine I possibly had a girl in mind when I made the teens room because that's what I usually do uh, it's just a habit I don't know I like making teen girls rooms apparently <laughs> but for the uh, children's room I didn't have anyone in mind whatsoever but um, yeah, the facade of the build is definitely inspired by a house that I saw on Pinterest. However, everything else, including landscaping, is my own doing. That's why it probably looks like a mess, let's be honest. Um, but the facade is definitely inspired by a house that I saw on Pinterest. Because I still don't feel like I am completely comfortable with modern houses. So... I kind of, yeah, I just like to take inspiration from pictures now and then. This was a very nice house. I don't remember in what kind of area. I only saw, like, what kind of area it was in. I only saw that the caption wasn't, wasn't Spanish. But other than that, I have no idea. I just saw palm trees around and I was like, that's a good color scheme. You know, we like the shape and everything. Let's just use this as inspiration. So that is uh, where I found my inspiration for this one. And I also think that I actually stuck somewhat to the color scheme of the house, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but with a lot of the contemporary houses that I've done lately, I kind of, I like to mix warm brown white and then the uh, blue stained windows i don't know what it is it's just a nice color combination i did it with my modern jungle house as well i think i did it what up those blue stained windows for the next one but i did another modern family home that was also black brown and white and i really like I don't know, there was something about that color combination that just, it's nice, it's pleasing to my eyes, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so uh, yeah, when I saw this house, I was like, ooh, that's a nice color combination. I like the shape, so let's use this one as inspiration. And it does stick out just a little bit compared to the, like when you put it right next to the other modern house that I did for this area, they don't necessarily match that well in color schemes. But if I did the whole neighborhood in the same color scheme, I would pretty much be bored of it as well so hopefully you guys are okay with that you know it's the same with the other neighborhoods in my save file they're not necessarily gonna look the same like the houses in one neighborhood are not necessarily gonna look the same or like have the same color scheme use the same windows you get the the whole point um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. I just think it's funnier when a lot of the houses are necessarily in the same kind of style. Except Windenburg. That is actually mainly... I think there's one cottage in the wooden area, but other... Or in the woods area, forest area. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty much just Tudor houses, if I recall correctly. I'll do a tour once everything is done and ready and stuff so you guys can see everything before you decide if you want to download it or, or not. But 
it's gonna take a long time before we get there because we are not nearly done yet so yeah hopefully we'll get a bit closer to the ending within the next couple of weeks because i will be working my butt off to get a lot of builds done <laughs> so we got you know not necessarily like a whole lot of stuff to do uh, here at the start of the next year, but um, we'll see how it goes. One thing I always dread a little bit when it comes to pre-recording, it's honestly voiceovers for builds because you guys, I don't know, but <laughs> how do you talk non-stop for 24 minutes and then maybe do it for, let's say, five builds within one week. I know that they're gonna be spread out over, you know, a couple of weeks here on the channel, but I still have to record them all in the same week. So that's gonna be a lot of talking and not a whole lot of stuff is going on right now because I'm just recording. <laughs> so I don't fully know what we're gonna talk about, but that's gonna be fun. I always dread that just a little bit. By the way, I was trying something funny with the, what's it called, the hot tub right here, as you can see. Usually, I swear I've done this before and it worked. You basically cut out a little piece of the foundation and then you place some stairs and then you make sure you have move objects on and you can place the hot tub on top of the stairs. So basically your Sims would be able to walk down the stairs and jump into the hot tub. I know it looks a little bit funny in the animation, but it should work. However, it didn't this time and I don't know what I've done differently, but I swear I've done it like this before and it worked. So that was a little bit frustrating. I was playing around with that for quite a while, but I just could not get it to work, unfortunately. There's also some of the footage later. I actually forgot to start recording and that literally never happens. It's happened like twice now. <laughs> um, once, or maybe like three times actually. Once where I was doing some landscaping and then once where I don't remember what I was doing. And now this time where basically I made a gazebo, but it's not like, you know, it's not like a special gazebo or anything. You didn't miss out on much anyway, so that's probably fine. Hopefully it's fine, but um, that did happen, unfortunately. It does happen sometimes. Luckily, not a whole lot, but it does happen sometimes, so unfortunately, I missed out on just a little bit of the footage, but hopefully you guys won't mind too much. We're also getting a free update on, what day is it? Today, the 15th. We're getting a free update. Is it on Wednesday, I think? The 18th? Possibly, so that's gonna be cool. Or is it the 21st we're getting it? I don't remember, but we're, we are getting a free update with some Christmas stuff, and there are some other stuff I don't fully remember. Some cool cast items as well, so that's gonna be pretty good, getting new free stuff. I always love getting free stuff, so super excited to use some of that. I saw a very beautiful, because they showed off all the items, in the monthly Max's monthly stream, Max's monthly, monthly Max's. I don't remember which one it is, but it's either of those. Basically, they stream like now and then, possibly once a month. I mean, it's kind of in the name. Um, over on Twitch, where they give us updates on the different Max's titles. And basically this month we're getting a free update that is coming out during this next week and we're getting some candles and fireplace. We are getting some other stuff I don't fully remember but it's like a few pieces and a lot of it looks really nice. I could always use more candles. If you guys don't know, I love candles. I'm obsessed with candles in real life as well. I don't have them lit up a lot but like <laughs> I love candles so freaking much. Um, it's been a thing since I was a kid. I just love candles so always excited to get more candles for my interior in the game that's always a good thing so looking forward to that but we're also getting a lot of like or not a lot we're getting a few um christmasy or like cozy kind of warm winter pieces and casts as well so that's gonna be cool to see what cc creators can do with that too i remember there's a pair of jeans that i'm looking forward to really much because <laughs> they were so pretty so detailed they had like rips in them and stuff so that's gonna be cool but um i don't remember if it's wednesday i just realized that wednesday is not the 18th the 18th is tuesday because it's saturday today so Sorry about that, it's either Tuesday or Friday it's coming out, I don't remember which one it is, but uh, we'll see. I'm sure it's written on Kate's Twitter, but I haven't checked 
today, so I can't really remember, but it's either Tuesday or Friday. So that's gonna be good. We are getting free items, super excited for that. But other than that, I have actually no idea what's coming next and it's super exciting. You know, a whole new year means a lot of new stuff for the game as well. So I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited to see what's next and I would really like to hear you guys' theories. I know that some of you guys on my Discord server were talking about maybe there'll be like a game pack or something like that released here at the start of the year. I kind of see where it's coming from, but I don't fully know if that's a thing because when was the last game pack we got? I think it's like a year ago or something like that. Are they still doing game packs? I don't know. So I don't know about that one. If it's a game pack, maybe it's like a new destination, like a new vacation destination. I would really like a beach world. That would be amazing. Probably a lot of fun to build in as well, but I don't know if it's gonna happen within the next like couple of months. But if it is, if we're getting a game pack, I sure want a beach world because yes, I just, I would love to build in a beach world. Although that would mean more lots to fill out for my safe Alex because and I mean, that would kind of suck a little bit, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll manage anyways. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let me guys know what your theories are. What do you think is coming next for us? And what do you think the next expansion pack is going to be? I am so freaking excited. So yes, I know that Get Famous just came out like a month ago, but I am always looking forward to new stuff and you can always look like you can look forward to new stuff while enjoying the current content so yeah i'm just looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen so for the interior in this build i definitely took inspiration from the color scheme on the exterior so we're using a lot of white and warm brown like this medium toned warm kind of brown if that makes any sense <laughs> it's not dark but it's not light either i don't know i feel like maybe it's a little bit on the darker side but it's a very nice brown i really like that brown i know i talk about browns quite a lot in my videos but for interior i just like brown it's cozy and it's warm <laughs> but yeah so white or yeah warm brown and white and then we're also using some blue and yellow here and there however not much of that in the furniture but more like for, for the rug for example and flowers and maybe there's a painting here and there so a lot of the furniture will just be white and brown but then you got like these different pieces here and there that add just a little bit of color so I thought that would be a lot of fun to do for for a change I know blue and yellow I use that quite a lot but that is one of my go-to's and I just like the contrast between those two colors I think they work really nice together so I tend to use it quite a lot but in here we got the living room as you can see by now I also put a little bit of an office area over there on the empty wall right now so there'll be a desk with a computer on it because they don't actually have like a dedicated office in this house I made sure that the floor plan on the lower level was quite open and therefore there is no there was no room for an office but it's because of the windows and I don't know this may be like a contemporary build thing but because of the windows it makes it a little bit more difficult to do floor plans because usually when I build like normal suburban houses I often like place down walls like for I floor plan after like according to the windows that doesn't make any sense does it i can't really explain these things without showing you guys <laughs> hopefully you guys know what i mean but with uh with contemporary houses there are so many windows in them so it kind of it becomes a little bit of an, of an issue to do the floor plan and i just yeah i think it's very common as well for contemporary houses to have more open floor plans as well so i don't think putting an office like an office area when there's a an open floor plan and sims will just walk through it all the time i don't think that's very smart it's not very realistic how can you sit there and concentrate when people are walking past you all the time i know from personal experience that i can't at least but i i, I mean sims probably wouldn't mind that too much but you know or wouldn't mind it at all they don't really think about those things do they but it to me it seems more realistic to have the office space in the, the living room unfortunately now they have to deal with the tv instead being loud possibly but i personally would rather have the tv running in the background rather than people constantly walking behind me so 
according to my logic, it makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so quite a busy kitchen here as well. They have a lot of counters and also a lot of cabinets. I don't know. I think I am in the space where I just put as much in the kitchen as possible. It looks a little bit messy, but maybe they just have a lot of stuff to store and therefore they need a lot of counters. I don't know, do people usually have big kitchens like in these kind of houses? Do people just have like humongous kitchens? I honestly don't know. The last, the, my last like um, apartment was very small. We had like four counters total <laughs> and three cabinets. One of them was, no actually two cabinets. One of them was mine and then we had like half a cabinet that was open as well where we stored uh, spices and stuff like that like oils as well so I don't know that was quite a small kitchen and in this house we have a smidex quite smidex wall okay English quite a small <laughs> kitchen as well so I don't fully know like do people just have a lot of stuff to store in bigger houses with like big big kitchens like what do they put in the cabinets <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but uh, they have a lot of like uh, counters and cabinets in this kitchen at least even though it's not necessarily like a house for the biggest family but I don't know maybe they're hoarders or something like that I don't know so anyways over in the corner by the windows I also put the dining area I thought that would be nice because there's a lot of windows over there so they get a lot of like there's a nice view for example and they also get a lot of light in through the windows as well so they can sit over there and enjoy I don't know looking through the windows over the Actually, I don't think you can see. There's a pond in the backyard. Um, well, not necessarily like in the backyard backyard, but behind the house, behind the lot, there's a pond, which looks really nice. Um, here in Oasis Springs, I did not know that was a thing because, you know, I've never actually built in this area before. <laughs> I'm like, not until the last house I did. <laughs> so, you know, you learn something new every day. But um, yeah, there is a, there's a pond, which is quite cool, quite cute, but unfortunately, they can't actually see it from this area but at least I can look over on the um, the cliffs over there or something else I don't know just look out the window and enjoy the Sun because it's probably really warm in Oasis Springs but you know so like I said before as well as you can see I did add some yellow and also some blue I actually really like that rug also has some brown on it so it kind of like ties together with the furniture as well but I think blue and yellow I think what it is is that it reminds me of summer because you know the the sky and the water is blue and then you got the Sun that is yellow and it just kind of it reminds me it reminds me of summer basically I think that's what's going on <laughs> so yes for these houses I've used quite a lot of yellow and blue together but I actually think the last summer inspired apartment was also blue and yellow like the last summer inspired apartment I did so there's quite a lot of my interior I just really like I just really like that color combination. I am sorry. <laughs> I'll try to come up with some other color combination, but this is definitely one of my go-tos. So you see that a lot in my builds, but um, yeah, anyways. So I think this is the only bathroom that I'm showing you guys because I'm pretty sure I just copy pasted the items from one bathroom to the other off cam. But there will be some screenshots in case you want to see what the individual bathrooms look like. But the items should be the same. It's just like placement and stuff like that. It's a little different. So yeah. I actually really adore this mirror from Get Famous. Not that it's cute or anything, but I just like, like it's stylish, it's big, and it's also got the light ring around it. But I don't think it's too much either. I just really like it. It fits in different places as well and also lights up the room just a little bit. So we are including the hallway today because the video is actually only 24 minutes long. Like I said, it took me four hours to build. That's not a lot for me. Like for 40 by 30, they usually take me six, seven hours. So I could easily fit in quite a lot in this video and still have time left afterwards, which is also why you're getting so many freaking screenshots. <laughs> so hopefully that's appreciated by some of you guys because I know that some of you do just skip ahead to the screenshots and that's also completely fine. So right here, I don't know if I showed you guys earlier either or as well, but you can definitely see over in the corner, I did, if I just turned out the camera around just a little bit, you can see the gazebo that I did. I ended up using some wall dividers from City Living and some pillars that are from Get Together and then I just used foundation and I did some funky roofing, whatever, put some plants on it. And that's a gazebo. It's super simple and not like 
yeah, it's just super simple, not too complicated to do. If you don't have city living and you still want to build a gazebo like that and you have Get Famous, you can actually do that because we did get some wall dividers in Get Famous that pretty much look like the same wall dividers, like yeah, the wall dividers that I'm using from City Living. The only difference is that they latch onto walls and the ones from City Living don't. But as long as you don't have any walls nearby or like fencing, half walls or anything like that, when you place down those wall dividers, it should be completely fine. I think they may be found under wall decor as well, as well. But like I said, as long as you don't have any walls, half walls or fencing around, you can just place them down freely as well. So should be completely fine. You can do gazebos like that too or use them for other fancy stuff. But um, yeah, I just thought I would explain that to you guys. Anyways, this in here is the parents' bedroom and they also have... or the master bedroom I guess. They also have their own bathroom which is actually quite big for me. I tried to do something new with it. I don't know if it worked out. I'm actually not even sure that I'm showing it on cam but at least you can see it in the screenshots at the end of the video. But I am trying my best to do something funnier or you know more interesting with bathrooms now and then. So not in the next build because it's a smaller one but for the bigger ones you know you can always try out new things now and then. So that is what I'm doing because usually I just want to get the bathrooms over with so I make them super small and then I just put in the necessary things don't try to decorate it too much but I did try some new stuff in this house at least so there is that and I think the color scheme that we went for was that like very warm brown again and then mixed with some or combined with some teal or turquoise blue kind of color and it's just it's a nice kind of contrast there as well at least in my opinion it is so in here we got the teens room as well and they're a very creative teen they like to play music so I gave them a keyboard and also a guitar possibly two guitars I don't remember they also really like makeup apparently but I mean <laughs> if this house fits your family and the teen that in your family doesn't like music or doesn't like to play music or whatever you can just redecorate everything it's completely fine do whatever you want with my bills by the way all I'm asking for is that you don't reload it that is literally all I'm asking for but other than that you know you can do whatever you want with the bills whatsoever so anyways and yeah in here we got the twin children or children twin twin children <laughs> I don't know we got their bedroom and it's a little bit messy it's a little bit like uh, everything is a little bit close to each other because there's quite a lot of furniture going on in here but it's a very small room for twins however I thought it was a little bit too big for just one child so I put two beds in there plus it's nice to share a room with your twin I think I don't have one but I can imagine it would be nice when you're a child maybe they can um, support each other when the monster under the bed attacks at night or something like that but other than that we are getting close to the end of this video I do want to say that this room was actually supposed to be um, swapped with the teen room because they got access to the patio or the terrace the teen and the, the parents don't and that wasn't on purpose but when I was looking at it afterwards after furnishing and decorating and everything I was just looking at it like will the sims really mind <laughs> but I forgot as I was furnishing it because it really was supposed to be swapped around so it made a little bit more sense rather than the children having access to the patio like that or the terrace I don't know what it's called but um so yeah that happened they have an eating area out there like a dining area and also just some cozy chairs lounge chairs kind of situation so other than that i am just furnishing the backyard just a little bit as well and that should be about it so i'm gonna wrap up this voiceover i hope you like this build you can download it off the gallery my id is evelyn yt and you can also find it under the hashtag evelyn or evelyn yt if you do have any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel in the new year do let me know because I'm always up for suggestions from you guys. So as always, just write away in the comment section down below if you got anything that you want to see. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye -bye. The streets are paved with gold and no one ever gets old. I'll be longing for that day. Oh
on the silver screen The happy face 